What is up guys, Big Boss Bat here, and today I'm doing an unboxing of Metal Gear Solid 5! I have been waiting for this game for four years, it is part of the reason why I wanted to help create the channel, and it's finally here, September 1st. While it is also September 1st for Metal Gear Solid 5, it's also Jimmy's birthday, so happy birthday to you buddy, and I'm gonna do this unboxing with... Wait, this knife. You can see my phone in the reflection, that's awesome. And I'm gonna try <laughs> and do this with one hand and a foot. So, you won't see that in any other unboxing because they're professionals. So we're gonna open this bitch up. Okay, I'm gonna use my knee now. Bam, donezo. And that's how you open a box with the camera in your hand. So this is the day one edition. I couldn't get the collector's edition like most people. Let's check out the back. Oh, it got that new game smell already. All for revenge. Nine years after the real Mother Base, after the fall of Mother Base, legendary hero Snake wakes from a coma. Together with Ocelot and Miller, Snake must rebuild Mother Base and establish a new armed force, Diamond Dogs. Only then will he have his revenge on Cypher. Fan of Pain brings an explosive conclusion to the Metal Gear Solid 5 experience. Comes with uh, some digital content. Let's let the camera focus real quick. Shaky as hell because I want to play this. Looks like it's not really focusing. So I'm gonna back up. Let's open this up and see what's inside. First, <sighs> that new game smell. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain's disc fucking awesome so ooh, better uh shows the code first it's kind of weird i'm glad i'm going to use this first comes with ballistic shield cardboard box snake costume fatigues mgo xp boost and adamska special and one of the best parts about this is it comes with a map i guess it, they don't have a manual like most games these days oh hey there's the manual it's actually inside the case. They've finally done it. They finally, they finally gotten rid of the video game manuals, and it's really disappointing. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. This is a map of both Afghanistan and Africa, the two areas that are very open that you get to visit in the Phantom Pain. I'm gonna try and open this the best I can. Sorry for the bad camera angles. Okay. This right here is Afghanistan. Very cool. I probably will be using this. And this right here, which is much bigger, they've had to zoom out for this, is Angola Zaire border region of Africa. Very cool. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry for the bad camera work. Uh, I'll be pretty much uploading gameplay most likely either the day that this is uploaded which will be September 1st or to, or September 2nd it all depends on uh, how things go with the recording but I hope you guys check it out it would really mean a lot since it's my first solo walkthrough that I'm doing just completely on my own maybe once in a while having people but uh, that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time how do I um,